In the previous video, I talked about acids and bases. We talked about the Aranus definition, the bronsted lowry definition. If you recall, the Aranus definition tells us that an acid is a substance that when it's dissolved in a solution or a solvent, it uh, dissociates into hydronium ions. Um, and what the scale, the blue scale down here is representing, is um, the amount of, or the concentration of the hydronium ions. So of course, the more hydronium ions, the more acidic the solution is. And then vice versa for a base. Remember, the Aranus definition of a base is that it's, it's a substance that when it's dissolved in a solution or a solvent, it, uh, it dissociates into hydroxide ions. Um, the more hydroxide ions, the more basic the solution is. So that's what those two scales are representing. Uh, what we have up here now is our pH scale. Our pH scale is really, uh, you could think of it as like an equivalency um, that gives us a, a nicer number than what we what we have to work with with um, the concentrations of these. A lot of times you'll get, you'll have a concentration of, um, uh, for example, you have a concentration of a hydronium ion and it might be something like, um, 0 0.0045 molarity. Well, you know that's just a that's a silly number, and we don't we don't want to work with that. Let's have a nice number from 0 to 14, and uh, and that's where a lot of math math comes in. Uh, for the most part, it's very simple, though it really is. Um, but you just have to know how to convert between the two, and that's what we'll do here in just a minute. Um, but let me just give you an idea of uh, of some some normal pHs. Um, for example, the uh, blood plasma should have a pH of about 7.4, 7.35 .4, to 7.45 is considered normal. Um, anything else, and I don't remember what the exact numbers are, but they can't be too far out of range. Um, if it is, it will result in death. Um, less than 7.35 is considered normal. Uh, acidosis, uh, more than 7.45 is considered alkalosis. That's when we get into our respiratory and metabolic acidosis and alkalosis, and, and that's a whole nother video, but um, it, it is important that that pH stays within its normal range for blood plasma. Um, what else can I give you an example of? Urine, for example, is usually 4.6 4 roughly to about 8. So it's uh, slightly acidic. It could be slightly basic. Um, what else? Um, saliva, for example, is about 5.8 to 7.1, according to my book here. Um, so that, uh, that's usually... Uh, slightly acidic, kind of same thing there, could be slightly basic too. Um, but you'll see, you know, uh, certain solutions should should maintain a certain pH um, within the body, uh, and, and that gets into disease processes and a lot of a lot of other things when they're out of range, but we don't need to go into any of that right now. Um, so that's that's what this the pH scale is for. That's what it's representing. Um, let's talk about uh, and let's let's do a couple of examples here. Um, what I have down here is just a kind of a cheat sheet for you. Um, you could you could be given number one. You could be given the uh, hydronium ion concentration. You could be given the hydroxide ion concentration. Or you could be given the pH, and you'll have to go between each of these. You might be given the hydronium ion concentration and need to figure out the pH. You might be given the hydroxide ion concentration and need to figure out the pH. Or you might be given the pH and need to figure out one of these two, or both of them. Um, so let's start. Uh, let's start with the hydronium ion concentration. What I put here just says log, okay? Um, let me let me find an example in the book here, and we'll do one. Um, okay, so our example is going to be well. Let's get a let's get a color we can actually see. Okay, so our example we're going to use four point six times ten to the negative third molarity of. Uh, Of our hydronium ions. Okay, so this is what you'll be given, um, and you need to figure out the pH from that. Uh, so really, it's pretty simple. Um, every calculator is different. Um, I have the TI30X. Um, probably have the 
have one at least similar to it. But you should have a log button on the, on there. It's gonna all it's gonna say is log. Um, it could be a, a second function, so look for that. But you're gonna simply hit log, okay, and then you're gonna do 4.6 times uh, times 10 to the negative third. Okay, so find your exponent key, and then you're gonna punch in the negative third. And let me do that one more time. Okay, 4.6 times 10 to the negative third. Okay, and then we end up with negative 2.3. 2 we'll just round it off there. Um, our answer, of course, we can't have a negative value for our pH, so that should... Uh, that should be a heads up there that that can't uh, that can't be our answer yet. We can't be done yet. What we're going to do is we just take the whole value of this, so we end up with a pH of 2.3, and that's it. Uh, it like I said, it really is pretty simple. You just need to remember what to do with each one of these. Um, let's say, for example, uh, we had 4.6 times 10 to the negative 3 molarity, but now remember this is our hydroxide ion concentration. Okay, we're going to do the same thing, but then when we're done, uh, the, the, the only thing we need to do differently is subtract it from 14, and the reason we're subtracting it from 14 is because our pH scale goes up to 14. So we would do the same thing, but then we would take 14 minus our answer, so we'd have 14 minus 2.3, and we would get 11.7, 11 11.7, okay? Um, if we're given the pH, and we need to figure out the, the um, hydronium ion concentration. We're just going to, going to take, um, okay, you, you should find, uh, the reason I wrote this out like this is so you could find it on your calculator. You should have a key like this. That's your exponent key. It's just 10, and then there should be a raised x. Um, on my calculator, it's a, it's a second function, so you go second, and then um, you'll, you'll hit the key that it's for. In the case of mine, it's the log key, but it's sec second function is the exponent key. Um, and then you just type in whatever pH we have. So let's say we have a pH of, uh, let's just do 5. We have a pH of 5, okay? Um, but you're going to you're gonna change the pH sign, okay? Um, or, or I guess another way I could have wrote that is you're, gonna, you're just going to put in a negative because your pH is always going to be a positive number, so you're just going to put in negative. Uh, so we'll put in negative 5. And we get um, negative 5. Okay. Um, let me write out. We're going to go up here. We have 0 0.0001. And then if we move our decimal, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, we're going to have 1.0 times 10 to the negative fifth, okay? And that's our concentration of our hydronium ion. Um, so the the way you can look at this scale, uh, the pH scale, is that, let's see, how would we, how would we do this? Okay, if this is, um, maybe I should draw a different, okay. This is gonna represent our concentration, well, that's, that's a little big, we'll get a little smaller. Okay, this is going to represent our concentration of um, our hydronium ion, or our hydrogen ion, can look at it that way too, H3O plus. Okay, so at zero, we're going to have 10 to the zero. At 14, we're going to have 10 to the negative 14. Okay, at seven, we're going to have 10 to the negative 7th. And uh, I, I think you're getting the pattern now, hopefully. So at 1, it would be 10 to the 1st power, 10 to the 2nd, 10 to the 3rd, 10 to the 4th, 10 to the 5th. Um, 
yeah, or I'm sorry, I, I was saying those wrong, uh, to the negative first, negative second, negative third, negative fourth, negative fifth, um, and going up. Now, if we look at, and I know this is just getting cluttered here, but we'll do our best. Okay, here's another line. This is representing our hydroxide ion concentration, OH negative. Um, so at a, at a pH of 14, um, we would have 10 to the negative 0. Okay, um, and actually this would have this would have been negative. I think that's why I got off there. Okay, so that would be negative zero. But um, that would be ten to the negative zero, and then at a pH of zero, um, we would have ten to the negative fourteen. Ten to the negative fourteen. Okay. Um, you can find this scale if you. Uh, you you can just Google it. Um, I don't know exactly what you would type in, but search for this. Um, if you if you see this laid out and you have every number on there, you would have 10 to the negative 13, 10 to the negative 12, 10 to the negative 11th. Um, and you see these scales in relation to each other, it, it, it'll probably make sense in your head. I apologize, I thought I could draw better scales here for you, but uh, obviously I can't, so um, yeah. But Hopefully that gives you at least somewhat of an idea. Um, it really is pretty simple to, to go between these and just just kind of understand what you're doing. Um, you're, you're just finding an equivalent value. You, you're finding an equivalent pH value, so um, or vice versa. Okay, uh, I assume there should be questions on this, so if there are, leave them on the wall, and I'll get back to you.